Hello world, welcome to the 47th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This will be the first video in my SQL playlist, and we'll actually be using a Python library called SQLite to make a database which will be the basis of Shane's memory. So my pa father passed away in 2019, so last year while I'm recording it. He passed away from Alzheimer's in his mid-50s, which is super rare. For nearly five years, I watched his memories be stripped away from him, and it frightened me. And then uh, last month, during the 2020 Super Bowl, uh, Google made a commercial um, about its remember function, where it's an uh, older gentleman asking Google to remember the memories of his past. And so, um, while the commercial was incredibly touching, it's just Google creating a database with the memories you give it. So, uh, in my opinion, now just my opinion only, it's just another way for Google to get more personal information, uh, do data analytics on it, and then sell it to um, people like Amazon and people who will use your memories to try to forecast your shopping patterns or your browsing patterns, etc. So either way, I want to make my own. So please leave a comment though if you've lost someone or are currently losing someone to Alzheimer's. And so it's um, important to me and so I hope um, nobody's going through it. But if you are, leave a comment and I will delete any toxic comments about this subject. So the basic code we'll use today can be found in a million videos on YouTube. So just type in Python, um, SQLite, whatever. It's the same, you know, basic playlists, and that's what I'll be kind of using. But my main motivation is Centdex. So he's kind of the uh, main influencer in the Python YouTube community. And so his uh, video to this playlist will be in the description. So you also, before we start, you also need this um, um, SQLite browser, which will open up the database. And so um, I'll put the link in the description, but it'll take you down here, and then you go down and find the right MSI for your Windows, um, for whichever one applies to you. All right, so once you get that downloaded, I've already downloaded mine. You import SQL Lite 3, so SQL Lite 3, and that is part of your standard Python library, so you no need to pip install anything. Then, um, kind of the standard, but you know you can name your own variables, is to set up a connection using conn con equals SQL Lite 3 dot connect and then the name of your database, whatever you want that database to be. Then the cursor, which is what you use to execute commands. So you'll do C equals con, which we just started up here, dot cursor. All right, and then you create a function, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll, uh, you do an execute. And then you put uh, in the single quotes, and this is capitalized, so it's telling you that um, SQLite cares about capitalization. So create a table if not exists. So create table if not exists. And then you name your database. I called mine memories. And then here is where you'll put the columns. So if you think in Excel, you'll have individual columns. And this is where you name them. So for me, I just want a date stamp, which will be text. And then another column called memory which is text. All right, then we're going to do an enter memory function. Again, we're going to execute. And then you put insert into memories, which is what we just called this uh, database. We're going to insert the values. And so I'm going to hard code this using double quotes. So this is my date stamp, 8 February 2020. And the memory that I'm going to put in here is I made a YouTube video and everyone loved it and thousands of people subscribed. So I'm foreshadowing, I'm hoping thousands of people do subscribe today, but uh, I will have to delete that if it doesn't come true. So just watch these single quotes here. You see those? 
Those are from when I did a line enter, because PyCharm yells at me if it goes beyond this character limit. Then you do a connection commit. Then you do this cursor close and a connection close. So we're just entering one, um, one value into this. Then you're going to call your create table first, and then we're going to enter memory. So let me delete my database that I've already made. All right, so I'm going to delete that. All right, then we're going to run this code. So, so let's run this. All right, super quick. It already finished. And then let's search for that. All right, so if this is your first time doing it, you will have to right click it, open with, you're going to click more apps. And then say, look for another app on this PC. And then you're going to put SQL. Oh, no, sorry. You're going to search up here for SQL. All right, you'll see this Dauda browser for SQLite. And then you want to use this application right here, the database browser for SQLite. All right, so that's how it's called associating the uh, database. So once you do that, it'll come up with that same file. Put sh always open it with this type of application. All right, so this is the uh, database right here, memories. And we're going to browse the data. And there you go. It says the date stamp. And then I made a YouTube. Everyone loved it. And thousands of people subscribed. So pretty simple, um, but that's uh, all the code you need really to make a simple database using Python and SQLite. But it doesn't make sense to hard code these in every time you want to enter a new um, item into your database. So in the next video of this playlist, we will uh, seek input from myself and we will um, enter that, pass that into the database. And so that will be uh, the first step towards the commercial where he's providing his own memories to Google, except the database is on my laptop and not in a Google server. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get um, updates when I post a new video. And that's all. Thanks. Goodbye.